What's going on people? Today, I'm not working at my house. I'm working over at my neighbor's house. And today I'm gonna show you how to automate an already existing irrigation system. And it's gonna be quick and best of all, inexpensive. Let's look at what we're dealing with. So the man has already got an ear in ground irrigation system. And his yard's looking pretty bad right now. He's about to get everything burned down and put sod in it very shortly. So he needs a way to water it when he's not home. This is what we're dealing with. So before my neighbor bought his house, somebody come in and hard piped it. And he's just got a box over here with two valves in it. So that means when he wants to water his grass, he's got to walk outside. He's got to wake up early in the morning. Who wants to do that? Who wants to wake up early in the morning? He has to come out here and turn them on and then best of all, turn them off. I've turned stuff on and forgot about it. We're gonna solve that today. Okay, so we got us a cheap 15 foot hose from Home Depot and a couple of fittings. We've got a male fitting and a female fitting. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this thing in half and we'll end up with two shorter hoses. I'm also gonna come in here and I'm gonna cut the pipes right here where they go out to the different zones and I'm gonna put a 45 with one of these fittings that adapts PVC to a hose Don't need that anymore. Let's get these bad boys glued up. Now I'm just going to come out here and cut this off at the ground because we won't be needing that no more. It was rotten anyway. Look at that. Now I'm going to hook this thing up so I can see how long I need to make my hoses. Alright. I got my adapters for the garden hoses glued on to the pipes for the zones. I've got this Aqua Joe pretty sprinkler timer installed on the Y and now I'm gonna lay out the hoses find out how long I need them so now I got everybody cut to the right length I'm gonna put these different fittings on which will turn one hose into two hoses now these fittings are known as hose repair fittings but at the same time they can be used for a lot of stuff like this and they're very handy if you use them right. Well, here we go. Finished project. Oh, watch this. There it is. Now all I gotta do is take and I'm gonna cut slot out of this box so these hoses can go in there.
completely finished project. I could have probably not cut it as much, but it, it'll be all right. So let's take a look at this controller right here. This thing seems to be pretty easy to use. You just set the time. There we go. That's close enough. So what up here? This cuts the zone off. This cuts the zone on manually. And then I would say the only thing I don't like about it is that it only gives you, you know, if you want to set it for an hour to run for at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., it's coming on now. Okay, it went off. Then you would set it, that's like a twice a day setting. This is a once a day setting. This is another twice a day setting. See, it says, just says 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. And it's the same for this side. And I'm assuming you'd put one of them for like seven and one of them for like six. But it doesn't allow you to, if you're receding or you're trying to set a sod, you can't hit it with like 20 minutes at a time, four or five times a day. It doesn't appear. Other than that, this looks like a very nice unit. Well, that's it, folks. It works. It's beautiful. Help my neighbor out. If you thought this was a good idea and it helped you out, go ahead and smash all the buttons. Hit subscribe, like, sh go ahead and share it. Say, hey, Jim, Bob, whoever your buddy is, look, you need to automate your uh, sprinkler system. This is one way to do it. All that being said, I hope it helps somebody. That's just what I've been working on today. I figured I'd throw it out there. Y'all have a good one and come back and see me.